The story starts with a newspaper. On the 19th of August 1911, the Berliner Morgenpost charters an aircraft to get its papers quickly from Berlin to Frankfurt and their order. With a new method of transport, the journey is a full hour faster than by rail. The postal service is always in a hurry too. In 1919, Deutsche Luft Reederei, the forerunner of Lufthansa, launches its airmail service between Weimar and Berlin. 1926 sees the creation of Lufthansa following the merger of Junkers Luftverkehr and Deutsche Aero Lloyd. The first flights are to destinations in Europe. Right from the outset, the young airline has two primary tasks, carrying passengers and also transporting air freight quickly and reliably. A major milestone, the opening of the airmail route to South America in 1934. Perfect logistics even back then. A Heinkel HE70 flying from Germany to Spain. Taking care of the onward flight to Africa is Iron Annie. The journey then continues in a Dornier flying boat called the Whale. It takes off in Bathurst, or Banjul as it's known today, on the Gambia River. The whale flies for hour after hour, just a few meters above the waves. A brief interlude for refueling on a floating staging post in the South Atlantic. A catapult then propels the aircraft back into the air on its way towards Natal on the Brazilian coast. Seaplanes take care of the onward flights to Rio de Janeiro, Uruguay, Argentina or Chile. Total distance, 12,000 kilometers or more. Roughly 100,000 letters are shipped in each flight. From Berlin to Rio in just two days, a world record. By the end of the 30s, Lufthansa makes the flight from Tokyo to New York. World War II. Part of the fleet of 150 aircraft are seized and used to fly soldiers and weapons. 1945 and Germany is in ruins. Four occupying powers control the country. Three years later, the Soviets start their blockade of Berlin. This is in response to the launch of the Deutschmark in the three western occupation zones. All overland transport is forbidden. And so begins the greatest logistical campaign in history. The encircled West Berliners are sent supplies by air. It's the birth of the modern cargo flight and an unprecedented relief operation. The Allies make roughly 280,000 flights, transporting more than 2.3 million tons of essential freight over a period of 15 months. A fully laden plane lands every 90 seconds. As a gesture of friendship, the American and British pilots drop small parachutes containing sweets for children in their famous candy bomber flights. But the airlift pilots are doing far more than just flying in supplies. They're delivering hope and trust. 1955, the inaugural flight of the newly founded Deutsche Lufthansa. Drawing upon its tradition and experience, the company launches a successful bid to reclaim its former glory, initially in Europe, but then worldwide. Just one year later, it starts a domestic cargo-only service within Germany. Air freight quickly develops as an independent part of the business. All kinds of goods are transported, including live cargo. Everything from elephants to lap dogs. They all fly in comfort from takeoff through to arrival. For takeoff. Okay, 
At the end of the 50s, the Lockheed Superstar makes a non-stop cargo flight from Frankfurt to New York in just nine and a half hours. The age of the jet aircraft sparks a revolution. The Boeing 707. The supercargo jet. A quantum leap. It can halve the flying time on long-haul routes while transporting more passengers and cargo. The transportation of textiles, vehicles and heavy goods is no longer a problem. Other products which are carried include machinery, spare parts and frozen meat. Air freight is fast, reliable, safe and above all profitable. Roller systems and standardized transport units such as pallets and containers make for faster handling on the ground. A loading plan is the prerequisite for getting the right cargo to the right loading position. The age of data processing begins. This simplifies handling the mass of documentation which is generated and saves valuable time. Lufthansa has the most extensive network of air cargo routes in the world. Cargo transport itself is a one-way business. The Boeing 727. Quick change and innovation. Passengers by day, freight by night. It takes just one hour to refit. In 1972, Lufthansa is the first client to put Boeing's cargo jumbo into operation. The smiling colossus ushers in a new era of air transport. Meanwhile, huge freight terminals are being built which the aircraft can taxi right into. This enormous fuselage can hold over 100 tons of cargo. The transportation of live animals represents a special service. Lipizzana horses from the Spanish Riding School on their way from Vienna to North America. At the end of the 70s, the freight subsidiary German Cargo Services expands its global network of routes to include charter flights. Frankfurt, international aviation hub and cargo's home base. 1982, the opening of the Lufthansa Cargo Center. This state-of-the-art freight handling center is the largest in the world. A hub for shipments from every continent. More than 300,000 tons per year. Four and a half thousand cargo items are electronically forwarded to new destinations each hour. Over a thousand employees ensure smooth operation 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. 1994, Lufthansa Cargo AG is turned into an independent logistics company within the Lufthansa Group. The MD-11 becomes the successor to the jumbo cargo plane in the late 90s. It's one of the very latest cargo aircraft on the market, and with its three engines, is considerably more efficient than the 747-200. The new millennium sees flights to Asia taking on increasing importance. In 2004, Lufthansa Cargo and Shenzhen Airlines set up the jointly owned cargo company Jade Cargo International. It's the first airline joint venture in China. In 2009, Lufthansa Cargo and DHL Express launch Aerologic GmbH. The two companies use eight brand new 777 cargo planes to service their destinations, most of which are in Asia. Air Cargo, the engine driving the global economy. For valuable, perishable or urgently needed goods, Air Cargo connects people, companies, countries and continents. And it saves lives, bringing rapid aid to crisis areas and disaster zones. The four and a half thousand staff at Lufthansa Cargo work hard to make it the industry leader and to make sure that after a hundred years the success story of air cargo is still being written. <laughs>